Welcome back. So in the previous video, we looked at differentiation from first principle, okay? And I told you in that video that we are going to be able to move on to using the rules of differentiation, okay? So before we look at the rules of differentiation, let's first look at how we represent the derivative function, right? In other words, let's look at the different notations that mean this is a derivative. So at grade 12 level, we are only going to be working with the first and the second derivative, right? And these are the different notations that we're going to use in order to represent the first and second derivative, right? For the first derivative, right, which is what gives you the gradient of tangent lines at any point along your original graph, right? You can say that you are working with the first derivative by simply writing y prime, f prime of x, dy by dx, right, d by dx of the function f of x, or just dx of y, okay? And please note that the notation dy by dx does not mean dy divided by dx. Okay, this is not a division, right? It's an operation. It means the derivative of function y with respect to the variable x, okay? That's what that means, right? So you're not dividing anything. Then, in order to represent the second derivative, right, which is what is going to help us to locate our point of inflection, right, when, once we get to um, sketching our cubic graph, right, we note this by writing y double prime, okay, or we can say f double prime of x, or d squared y by dx squared, or d squared by dx squared of f of x, or just simply dx squared of a function y okay now when we go into the rules of differentiation right again we are at grade 12 level right so we are only going to need the basic rules of differentiation right so we're not going to look at rules like the product rule or the quotient rule or the chain rule right but of course if you want to it doesn't mean that you can't look up these rules and how they work Okay, you're more than welcome um, to look them up and just get a feel of what's coming in future years, which is tertiary education. Okay, so for the basic rules of differentiation, we just need to know three things. Okay, the first one is that the derivative of a constant function is zero, right? So that is if f of x is equal to c, all right, then f prime of x is equal to zero, right? What does it mean for f of x to equal c? Well, you've seen this before. If you have a horizontal line, okay, that cuts the y-axis at 3, right? The equation of that line is y is equals to 3, right? And you can represent that as f of x is equals to 3, right? If you want the derivative of tangent lines along that curve, everywhere, well, it's horizontal, so its gradient is zero, right? So f prime of x is zero, okay? Then the second rule of differentiation is the power rule, okay? And the power rule is used for terms which are in the form x to some exponent, right? And this is the rule that we are going to use the most, right? So with the power rule, we basically need to rewrite all of our terms in our expression as x to some exponent right then once all our terms are in that form then we just simply then take the derivative as f prime of x is equals to n right times x to the exponent n minus one right if it happens that you have a coefficient right on your f of x in other words you have f of x is equals to a times x to the exponent n right then you just simply multiply the exponent by that coefficient. So you're going to have f prime of x is equals to a times n, right? Then this is going to be multiplied by x to the exponent n minus 1, okay? So this is the rule that we're going to use the most, and it's the one that you need to understand, okay? And it's simple. The only thing you're doing is that you're multiplying whatever coefficient you have with the exponent, and then you're reducing the exponent by 1, and that's it. Okay, and then lastly, they want you to know um, about the derivative of a sum of difference of functions, right? In other words, if you have that 
a function h of x is made up of two functions all right so g of x plus f of x or f of x minus g of x right then um, the derivative of that function h of x which is h prime of x is simply just the derivative of f of x plus or minus the derivative of g of x right and please don't confuse this with a product okay and this is how they try to catch you in the exams they're going to say to you find um, h prime of x right if h of x right is equals to um, x plus 2 times x plus 4 okay this is not the derivative of this first product right times the derivative of the second product okay no there, there's no such rule okay and for those of you who are going to look up the more advanced rules right um, namely the product rule you see that there is a way okay of differentiating a product like this right so it is not okay so it's not equal to um, if you call this first bracket f of x right and you call that second bracket g of x right this is not equals to f of f prime of x times g prime of x okay that is not true what are you going to do when you're given such a function where you have the product of two functions okay well you're just simply going to expand out those uh, two brackets like we usually do okay so we're going to have x squared right um, plus 4x plus 2x plus 8 okay and now you can then combine the 4x and the 2x giving you x squared um, plus 6x plus 8 okay and now you have a quadratic good old quadratic that we are familiar with and if you notice all the terms are just an x to some exponent and then we have x 6 is x to the exponent 1 and 8 is x to the exponent 0 and that's why um, when you take its derivative it's just equals to zero okay so for that constant term eight it's either you can remember the first rule which says that um, if f of x is equals to a constant then the derivative is zero or you can apply the power rule uh, by noting that that has a variable of x to the exponent zero and zero times eight is zero okay so that just is going to fall away so then h prime of x will be 2x my plus 6 okay and that's how you will deal with a product okay so now let's use these rules of differentiation firstly um, to verify all the equations of the gradient function that we um, obtained in the previous video using first principle right and see that we get the same answer right and in the next video we're going to look at even more examples of how to use the rules of differentiation okay so in example one we were asked to find um, the derivative of a function f of x is equals to 5x squared okay now we see that this is in a proper condition for the power rule okay because we have a coefficient right and we've got an x term to some exponent and this is how we want all our terms to look in future right so using the power rule then f prime of x is simply going to be equals to bring the two down okay so in other words multiply the two with the coefficient so we're going to have 5 times 2 times x to the exponent 2 minus 1 okay so then 5 times 2 is 10 and x to the exponent 2 minus 1 is 1 we can just write that as 10x okay so f prime of x is equal to 10x right and that's exactly what we got when we did um the the, the when we found sorry the derivative using first principle okay let's check example number two right so example number two we had f of x is equals to minus 2x squared 
plus 3x plus 1, right? Over here, again, all our terms are in the proper condition for the power rule, okay? We've got an x term to an exponent and they are added to each other, okay? So basically, you are using that last rule, okay, which says that if your function, right, is made up of an addition or a subtraction of other functions, so in other words, if you had to call um, 2x squared f of x and x squared g of x and the constant term k of x, right, you don't necessarily have to do this, right, but you can think of that in the back of your mind, then you know that if prime of x right because you have an addition or subtraction of terms right f prime of x is going to be equals to f ah i should actually call this one h okay so it's going to be equals to h prime of x plus g prime of x plus k prime of x okay so h of x is 2x squared when you apply the power rule to that it's going to be minus 2 times 2 times x to the exponent 2 minus 1 this is plus okay g of x is 3x when you apply the power rule to that it's going to be 1 times 3 okay times x to the exponent 1 minus 0 sorry 1 minus 1 okay then this is going to be plus well k of x is a constant term right so if so k prime of x is just zero okay now we can simplify so we have positive times negative is negative two times two is four x to the exponent two minus one is one okay this is plus one times three is three x to the exponent one minus one is zero okay plus zero you can simplify this further to minus four x plus 3 because x to the exponent 0 is equals to 1 right and we see that that is the exact same equation that we got um, by using first principles okay so let's check example number 3 right so in an example number 3 we had g of x is equals to x squared minus 2x okay so again same story um, you can call x squared f of x right and you can call 2x um, let's call it p of x okay so over here you see that you have a subtraction of functions right so we're using the third rule of differentiation which says that then g prime of x right it's going to be equals to f prime of x uh, minus P prime of x okay so if you look at f of x independently applying the power rule to that you'll get 1 times 2 times x to the exponent 2 minus 1 okay and applying the power rule to p of x you're going to get minus 2 times 1 times x to the 1 exponent 1 minus 1 okay we can simplify this we'll get 2 times 1, right, is 2, right, to the exponent x, 2 minus 1 is 1, minus 2 times 1 is 2, to the x, times x to the exponent 1 minus 1, which is 0, right, anything to the exponent 0 is 1, okay, so this was just simply 2x minus 2, right, and we see that that is exactly the same as what we've got through first principle, okay, last one. We were asked to find the derivative of k of x is equals to 1 over x. Okay. Now with this one, uh, we just have a single term, right? But uh, it, it's in a denominator, you know, it's, it's division. So what do we do with this? Because uh, we can't apply the power rule to the denominator. There's, there's no rule for that. But, but we do know from exponents right that a negative exponent indicates division right so we can change that 1 over x right and make it k of x right is equals to x to the exponent negative 1 ah that means exactly the same thing as 1 over x okay now we have a 
and x raised to some exponent, right? So now we can apply the power rule. Okay, so k, of, k prime of x, so it is going to be equals to 1 times negative 1 times x to the exponent minus 1 minus 1. Okay, so we have negative 1 times 1, which is negative 1, times x to the exponent minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2. Okay, so now we can just clean up, right? So just reverse what we did. So this is going to be minus 1 in the numerator and we can take that negative exponent to the denominator to make it positive, right? So it's going to be negative 1 divided by x squared, okay? And we see that it's exactly the same result that we got previously using um, differentiation by first principle, okay? So basically... What is the point of all of this? If Why do we need differentiation by first principle if we can just use the rules? Well, because you need to know how to differentiate by first principle. And it, it also just helps to generate an appreciation of um, the maths behind the rules. Okay, So in your exams, you are only going to be required to differentiate by first principle if they explicitly state, find a derivative, right? by first principle and that's basically it for today's video um, in the next video we're just going to look at more examples of how to use the rules of differentiation see you next time